In this lesson we're going to add some features that should help your website with its shareability with Facebook and Twitter. And to do that we're going to return to the elements tree and our head chunk that appears in the header of all our web pages. We're going to edit that. We're going to add some code that consists of meta tags that Facebook and Twitter read. So when your web page gets shared or tweeted, Facebook and Twitter will look at your page and decide which items to use in that tweet or in that share. Now you've usually got no control over that, but if you use these headers, these meta tag headers, you can have a bit of control on how your website will be tweeted or how it will appear in a Facebook share. We're using Facebook's Open Graph protocol to make suggestions to Facebook about what it should use from our web page. And we're using Twitter's Twitter card to make suggestions to Twitter about what to use. And we're populating all these meta tag values with modex tags. Some you've seen before, some you haven't, and we'll go through each of these in turn so you know what they are. So we've seen page title before, and that's the value from the, the page, from the title field for that page. So we're using this for Facebook and for Twitter. So that's the open graph title and the Twitter title. So the next item, the next meta tag is the open graph type. So we're telling Facebook that every page on our website is an article. Now there is a way to change that so if we have different types of web pages then we can have different content for this type. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The next item is the Open Graph site name. So the site name is going to be the same across the whole site. We can have that hard coded in every page. So it's our imaginary title there. The next item is the Open Graph URL. Now this is a bit more complicated than we've seen before. So I shall go through this in a bit more detail. Oh, and this isn't actually quite right either. It's even more complicated. So I will go through this and describe what's what. So if we start with the site URL, the first term, let's just get rid of the rest. This is a two pluses signifies that this is a modex system setting. So we set the site URL as a system setting and that will be the base URL, an example site.com in our case. So what we're trying to get here is the URL that we want to give to the Open Graph protocol. And if we just leave it as the site URL, then it will just be the base site URL for every page. And we don't want that. We want the URL of the individual pages. So to do that, we need to add the relative link onto the end of the site URL. So if we look at this term, if we start off with that, ID is a template variable and that gives us the ID of the page that we're on, that this head is being, header is being used on. But that's just a number. That's just a number of the resource. Now we can change the number of the resource into a link to that page by making it a tag itself, but with a tilde on the beginning. So if we add that tilde to the number and make that a modex tag, then that will create the link, the relative link to that page. But there's a problem 
because if it's the home page then modex in its wisdom makes this link with the site the base site url so if we're on the home page we'll get the site url twice in a row and that doesn't make any sense so we've got to use a bit of logic and not use this on the home page if we're on the home page then the site url itself will do so this is what we're doing here we're saying if the id is not one i.e it's not the home page then we do want a link to that page so that's how that works so i can get rid of that so we use that for the facebook url and also we've used the same code for the twitter url so now that each individual page on our website we're telling facebook and we're telling twitter how to link to it now the next item on our left list is the this open graph image and this is for the the image for facebook and there's also an image here for twitter so usually when facebook or twitter are sharing a page they don't know which is the most relevant image on that page so they'll they'll take a guess and use whatever image they think best but if we use this the open graph image meta tag then we can tell facebook or twitter which image is appropriate for those uh, for that page which is the most relevant page and we can we can find out you know what size what's the best size of image for either facebook and twitter in this case we view we're going to we've using the same image for facebook and twitter but there's there's no reason why you can't create a twitter image or a facebook image so that you have different ones now the previous template variables we've used um, you'll be familiar with they're they're available um, and they re they relate to the input boxes on the different pages now for this one this template variable this is a custom made one so we can make custom made template variables for each of our pages so we can have different values for those template variables on every page and I'll show you how to do that now so to create a custom template variable you go to the elements tab and in the elements tree you'll see template variables so if you click the plus icon give your template variable a name a caption and a description then you need to set the input options so the input option is going to be an image. So we don't need to set any properties. We don't need to set any output options. We've got to give template access. So we'll give template access to all the templates that means any page with these templates can use our template variable there's no need to bother with any access permissions or media sources at this point so save that template variable so now if we go to any of our pages or we create any new pages click on that page there's a tab template variables here so that shows us our template variable, our open graph image template variable. Um, it says it's uncategorized, we'll give it a category in a minute. But now, so we've set the input for this as an image, so if we click that, then we can choose an image from our images directory. Click OK. Save that. Now if we go to the front page and view the source, we can see we see that our image is there, but it actually needs the um, 
Here's the whole URL adding to the beginning of that. So we can do we can do that now by just copying the previous line. Save that. Try again. Reload view page source. So you can see then that Facebook will now have a a link to the image we want it to use when it shares our web page and we can control what that image is so let's have a look let's just um, copy that as well to for Twitter Twitter image so it's got the right right code to link to that image and these can be different template variables so that we give appropriate sized images to Twitter or Facebook so now let's create a category for our new template variable so if we go to the elements tree scroll down at the bottom there's a categories category so if we click the plus there and we can add a name let's call this category social media save then if we return to our template variables and open our open graph image then in the category drop down choose social media save and when we go to our pages for example our home page and click on the template variable tab then we can see that that image is under social media so we can organize our template variables uh, in different categories to make them tidier make them easier to find so next on our list is the description now what we've got here you recognize the description template variable we've used that before so why haven't we just left it at that well we've added here we've added intro text which is available as standard on every page so you could give an alternative description for Facebook than you do in the description box that's used in the description meta tag so you've got that choice and what this code does it says if the intro text sorry where's the code gone if the intro text is empty then use a description so in case you forget to add your Facebook specific or Twitter specific um, description then it will default to the description so you can now see how you can choose what information you give to Facebook and to Twitter if we have a, a look at Twitter it uses in this example it uses a lot of the the same information but there's no reason why you can't use different information and there's a couple of different items as well uh, there's a Twitter card and that's a summary so you can you can look into that in more detail and find the different sorts of information you can give to Twitter and we've given it our, our made up Twitter handle as well so in this lesson we've shown you how you can use Modex tags in the metadata of all of your web pages to give you control over what, me what Facebook and what Twitter sees and to help you share your web pages in social media.